This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, when creating an IMM braid brush, the braids are not following the stroke. So this question was sent along with an image, and here I have the image here. So the user was creating an IMM braid brush, and as they draw this IMM braid brush out, you can see all their braids are going horizontal rather than following the stroke. So why is this happening? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have a simple braid subtool here loaded in. Now this braid subtool was created in another Ask ZBrush video. I have linked to that Ask ZBrush video in the description below. So you can follow that video to get to this stage. So go through the entire process of creating a braid shape like this and then turning it into an IMM curve brush. Now the user, with the image they sent, they create an IMM braid brush similar to this, but when they draw it out, it's going horizontal. So why is that happening? So the issue the user is having is happening because when they created the IMM curve brush, their part or their subtool of the braid was not in the correct orientation. So as an example of this, I'm gonna just generate two curve brushes here, and all I'm going to do is just change the orientation of the braid here on my canvas. So I'm gonna create one with the braid in this vertical fashion here. And then I'm gonna go to the brush palette over here and I'm gonna go to the create area and do create insert mesh and then click new to that. And now I'm gonna create a second insert mesh brush, but this time I'm gonna take this braid, I'm gonna rotate it horizontally like this. Now I'm gonna go to the brush palette up here and do create insert mesh again. And we're just gonna do new as well. So I now just have two insert mesh brushes created. So if I go to my brush palette and open this up, you can see I have one that's going in a vertical fashion and one that's going in a horizontal fashion. So now let's just take the horizontal one here and I'm gonna go to my female head model here and just load that in. I'm gonna make sure I turn this brush into a curve brush. So I'm gonna go to the stroke palette up here and activate curve mode. And then I wanna make sure that if I had polygroups on this original mesh that I had disable the tri parts option. So I'm go back to the brush palette over here and open this up and go to the modifiers area. And in here I'm disable tri parts. So now if I take this, the brush we've created with the braid generated in a horizontal fashion, and now I draw this out on my model, you can see that this braid is drawing out in this horizontal way. So the braid is all going like this rather than following the curve. Now if I switch to the other insert mesh brush where I created the braid in a vertical fashion, so I've select this one here, I'm gonna turn this into a curve brush. So just going to the stroke palette, going to the curve menu and activating curve mode. And then also going back to the brush palette over here and disabling that tri parts option. And now if I just click on this curve to update it, you can see now the braid is following the curve. So, if your braids are drawing out in a horizontal way, go back to the original mesh that you created, the one that you're using as this IMM part, and make sure you create it in a vertical orientation rather than a horizontal orientation, because this will determine how this brush will draw out along the curve. So think of just the curve is always going to draw in an up and down fashion like so. So if your part is horizontal, it's going to draw out horizontal when you turn it into that IMM curve brush. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.